How's it going guys? Welcome to another video and today we're going to be trying out these uh, curries that they have in Asda. This is the Bomba here, garlic chicken bolti and this was £5 on its own. Now I didn't realise, um, I've looked afterwards and I didn't realise that they're actually part of like a sort of meal deal. I think you get two curries and two sides for a tenner, uh, which I didn't see because there was no signage up in the, in the Asda that I went in. Um, and the sides wasn't even priced, so I just ended up getting this. I didn't realise it was part of a meal deal, but hey-ho, it is what it is. If they're any good, then uh, we can try out some more and actually do the meal deal. So, uh, yeah, like I say, it was a fiver, and uh, I thought I'd give it a go because they had a, quite a large selection, and uh, they look pretty tasty. So uh, let's have a little look what we've got. So we've got a tender flame grilled chicken in a spiced tomato and garlic sauce topped with char-grilled red pepper, and coriander. Also got a load of spiel over here. What have we got? So we've got uh, succulent chicken marinated in yogurt, chili and tandoori spices, flame grilled for a smoky finish, cumin, fennel and mustard seeds are fried off to release their aromatic flavours along with a mixture of diced garlic and garlic puree, ginger and chili, tomatoes, yogurt and cream are added to balance off the rich sauce, hand finished with slices of red char grilled pepper and a sprig of coriander. Um, also got uh, some calories there. Let's take the sleeve off another little look on the back as well. So again, char grilled marinated chicken breast pieces in a spiced tomato and garlic sauce with a char grilled red pepper. Uh, for half a pack, 268 calories. Now, you know me, normally everything goes in the microwave, but uh, I think we might have a go and have a go in the oven today. I'm not in a rush um, <clears throat> and I'm not overly hungry as we speak, so I don't mind waiting the 30 minutes to uh, I don't mind waiting the extra 30 minutes to uh, to wait for it to be cooked. So yeah, I think we'll do that rather than go in the microwave and uh, we'll see how we get on with it. So yeah, here it is. And uh, like I say, pretty hefty portion, quite a fair bit of coriander in there. I can't stand coriander if I'm honest, so I won't be eating that. But uh, but I can see plenty of chicken in there. I can see some peppers and uh, it looks like it's going to be quite saucy. So um, yeah, like I say, normally microwave is the way forward for me, but uh, I'm not in a rush today. So I will uh, stick it in the oven and see if that makes any difference. I'll get it cooked up and then I'll come back to you when he's ready. Right then, guys, it's all plated up. I'll show you a little, uh, give you a little close up there. Obviously, it is uh, it is exactly what you get, apart from I've took the coriander off it because I don't like coriander, so we won't be eating any of that. I've got to say, it does smell really, really good. Uh, so, yeah, how much chicken have we got? It looks like a generous amount in there. We'll start off with a bit of chicken then. Cut it open. So yeah, it looked like nice marinated bits of chicken. Straight away, can taste the garlic. Really garlicky taste to it. Let's have a bit, uh, we'll have a bit more and then we'll get a bit of sauce on. And then just after you get the garlic kick, there's a slight, uh, a slight little hint of chilli in there. You can taste it. It's got a little bit of a kick to it. Let's have a bit of some of the onions and peppers. Tell you what, this is bang on. I wish that I knew that uh, they did it with the sides, two mains and two sides for a tenner. I didn't know. It didn't say. It didn't say in the one I went to. But obviously, I found that out after. Found out from me uh, from me mother. She did tell me because she uh, she gets it quite often. But I've never tried these before. So let's try a bit of everything together. Tell you what, this is absolutely spot on. Bit of rice and naan bread with this. Tell you what. This is uh, this tastes like proper restaurant quality curry. Really, really tasty. I'm going to finish it off now, speed things up, and then I'll come back to the end and we'll rate them out of 10. See you in a minute.
all finished, guys, and I've got to say, wow, that was absolutely exceptional. Really thoroughly enjoyed that. Honestly, I've been to uh, a lot of Indian restaurants that are worse, a lot worse quality than that. That is absolutely top draw quality for what is essentially a microwave meal. I know you can do it in the oven, um, but yeah, what the flavours are amazing. The chicken. Really nice garlic flavour to it, but then there's a slight subtle bit of a kick to it as well. The sauce goes nice and thick. Really, really tasty sauce with the peppers. The nice sweetness to it as well. Yeah, this is uh, this is top draw curry. Like I say, this is the garlic chicken balti, um, and it did say new on it. I'm not sure if they all just say new, um, but yeah, this one, I've not seen anyone review it, and uh, it sounded right up my street. So uh, yeah. Honestly, thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. Obviously, you can have it as part of uh, the deal, the two mains and the two sides deal. I think it was 10 quid. Uh, obviously, I just bought it for a five on its own because I was none the wiser. I didn't know, uh, didn't know it was a deal. But, um, but yeah, I'll be definitely going back to try some more of these out because, honestly, these are spot on, proper, proper tasty. Let me know in the comments if you've, uh, if any of you lot have tried one of these or one of the others, uh, any that you can recommend. But, yeah, honestly, guys, I'd get yourself down, if you like curry, get yourself down to Asda and try one of these, because these are absolutely bang on, honestly, spot on, can't can't fault it, and it's an absolute straight 10 from me, really, really enjoyed it. Uh, not much more to say on that one, uh, other than, yet, yeah, I'll be definitely uh, getting one of these again. Anyway, guys, thanks a lot for watching, as always, if you haven't really liked and subscribed, you could do so if you so wish, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourselves. Cheers.